So these are the two colors that I'm going to be blending on the eye. Um, remember that you want to do something always as close to the skin. All right, first things first, I'm using Max 224 blending brush. Um, I have a lot of different blending brushes. You can use any one that you have. And you just want to buff the product in um, so it looks very, very seamless um, and almost undetectable. Next, we're going to grab that MAC Chromographic Pencil in Marine Ultra and apply it to the waterline. And we're going to extend it a little bit to the lower lash line. Um, I love these colors, love the intensity. But just make sure that it's safe for you to use um, in your waterline. I know a lot of people have reactions to some of these, so just be careful with them. Um, and you're just going to spread it out, blend it out with your fingers, but just make sure that the intensity is there. Next, you want to use a light lavender eyeshadow. I'm using this. Um, this is from Max Love and Water Collection, um, and I'm just getting the product in there. And you want to use a very tapered brush, a very pointed tip brush like this, and you want to apply it into the inner corner of the eyes. Um, I'm using this brush because I can get as much as intensity, but I want it to be small, so I just get it in the exact place that I want it. Then you want to continue and apply it on the outer rim of the eye. Um, you're going to leave the center of the lower lid um, just in the dark blue um, and use the lavender on the edge of the eyes. Next, you want to do a deep blue eyeshadow and we're going to place this just in the center of the eye. So a deep blue like that one, um, anything you have will work. And I'm using a flat shadow brush to apply um, along the lower lash line. Extend the color past the lash line and this is where the wing liner will be. My favorite mascaras right now. Um, I like mascaras that give me volume. Just give me volume and I'm good. I like my mascara to look sort of like that. So you can tell the difference between no mascara and mascara. Um, and I've been using this um, called a measurable difference. And basically what you get is... Um, you get a serum on one well it's infused with a serum and you get the lash primer on one side and the mascara on the other so i kind of have a two-in-one product especially when i'm on the go really quickly so i really really like this um i will have more about it on my blog um in the down bar as well um but i'm gonna just be applying mascara i'm not gonna record that and we're gonna continue with the rest of the look so this is so easy guys please tell me you got it um we're just taking the occ cream concentrate and grammar and tapping it into the skin um it looks gorgeous on the lips as well it looks gorgeous on the eyes it's beautiful hello i love it okay so our look is coming together so for the lip um this shade is not um completely nude i would say it has a little bit of color um the payoff is very very sheer um it looks like a very high um it looks like a bright coral um if you can see that there um but it, it, it for some reason it's really sheer on me and i love the way that it looks um when i say use a nude lip um i don't want you to do something like matte nude like i want to keep it very soft very fresh um and i feel like that this lipstick gives me that um this is um, dio attic high color in number 432 um so just going to be applying this um no lip liner or anything as i said we're keeping it really fresh um So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you had a ton of fun creating it. I love this look. I think it's a modern way to wear color this spring and summer if you're not into a lot of eyeshadow especially. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. Comment below, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.